Dan. Okay, so uh, hi Akash, hi uh, hi Pratip ji. So first of all, good morning to all. So like uh, today we are gathered here to like take the mock interview for this. This mock interview can help us like you to prepare very well like in 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 upcoming your interviews, right? So uh, this interview will be of uh, 30 minutes. We are what we can say. In that, uh, what I going to ask the question like regarding manual testing, the uh, things which you have mentioned in your CV basically, I have gone through your CV very well. So like I can ask the question. Try to be confident. Okay. Try to be answer as much as you can. Right. And secondly, I will also like uh, give the explanation of the particular questions. which you can't answer it but try from your end first then we can proceed for the same so uh, before starting the inter uh, interview i like to give my short introduction so basically my name is om panare and uh, like uh, i am and working in the software test industry in means in software testing industry more than 3 plus year and currently i am working with uh, the one big mnc so like uh, talking about my expertise i have expertise in manual testing automation testing and uh, like uh, uh i am also an istqb certified tester means uh, like uh, i have the permit of working more than 50 plus countries in the whole world so i can work over there so secondly uh, talking about my expertise i have i have been working on the retail domain for past 2 uh, uh, years and now currently i am working in banking domain insurance domain what we can say so this is all my short introduction for the same so akash uh, now we can move uh, further with your mock interview okay so can you just introduce yourself like uh, <coughs> can you just introduce yourself so thank you sir good morning all of you uh, uh, thank you for uh, giving me this opportunity and uh, my name is akash uh, i have uh, as uh, currently working as a software test in a uh, last one two years uh, in a, uh, one of the uh, company as a startup for uh, uh, you know vododra okay. uh, com- my company name is the uh, 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 skit solution private limited and uh, okay. i have work as a uh, software test okay. engineer and uh, my uh, currently i have work as a one project as a crm based application in that uh, how uh, okay. and i i have work as a uh, uh, currently uh, crm based application tools uh, i have work and uh, so in this project uh, uh, this is the currently a uh, banking based project and uh, this this uh, project i have uh, used for test cases uh, test scenarios i have write to manually as well as automation by using mm-hmm. test script and uh, uh, we have uh, i have used for the uh, uh, la- uh, language for scripting is the java programming and uh, okay. so this is what and uh, Uh, I have uh, for for uh, this project. I have used for regression uh, testing as well. Uh, regression testing. Okay. So uh, Akash, uh, like uh, as you have told me, uh, like you have been used automation testing, right? So can you just tell me which type of tools you have used in your automation testing? Like which type of tools or which IDE you have used? Uh, sir, uh, I have used ID as a C- uh, CSS selector loc- uh, ID uh, uh, locators. I have used a uh, number of locators. I have used such as XPath, CSS selector, name locator, uh, ID locator. Uh, there are lot of. Akash, I am I am asking the question: Which type of tool you have used, and which type of ID you have used? You are saying that is right, but. that is belongs to xpath and all i am just i just want to know which type of id means like we have the id such as eclipse uh, in yeah, this yeah. type of id and yeah. and secondly what i have asked is like like which type of tool you have used like uh-huh. which type of framework uh, you have used? okay okay i have used uh, eclipse for the uh, scripting and uh, id uh, we, i have used for the uh, uh, in the framework as a test ng and okay. uh, maven i have created a framework okay. maven project and um, in okay. that maven project i have used the uh, in that way and i have also used the uh, api for api for uh, scripting the uh, projects 
डेली वन Half an hour or one 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 hour uh, happening in uh, my company. In okay. the Scrum meeting, my uh, the uh, overall uh, today uh, scenario is uh, clear by my uh, manager and uh, all the meeting. In this meeting, there are uh, my manager, uh, my uh, uh, Scrum master, and uh, my team okay. leaders are uh, team leader, and I have uh, my testing team are present in the meeting. and discuss about the what is the uh, today uh, today uh, uh, scenario is happen what what is what what was the like uh, you have worked on agile framework right hmm. basically means you are following agile process in your company hmm. so can you tell me uh, what is agile ceremony uh, sir in agile is a uh, day to day activity in that activity a uh, scrum master a uh, scrum leader and uh, our t- team can uh, perform the action in agile uh, uh, scenario is happen by day to day uh, one uh, scrum leader is there uh, mm-hmm. in uh, w- one hour uh, yeah. what i have asked you i can simplify question one second what are the different types of agile meetings what are the different types of agile meetings can you tell me mm-hmm. different types of agile meetings such as like we have grooming meeting for the same so can you able to like as scrum meeting is one of the part right so can you tell me what are the different types of agile meeting uh in in my company uh, uh meeting is happening by zoom uh, okay so just okay so basically as i have asked the question what is agile ceremonies or the different types of agile meeting so the thing was that we have first grooming meeting once when ba bring the requirements from the client we used to give first grooming meeting right in your company mm-hmm. as well so second mm-hmm. we have an the planning meeting so what exactly the requirement which given by the means uh, ba has taken from the client we usually used to distribute it am i right okay. within developers and testers okay mm-hmm. so then we have daily stand up scrum call as you are attending the same then after mm-hmm. that we have an the what we can say is like uh the uh, planning uh, sorry what we can say is at the review meeting after the end of the sprint let's suppose you have the sprint of 2 to 3 weeks in your company right so then you have the review meeting for the same means what exact you have work what what is the exact requirement of the client what you have delivered to the client that's it and end of the day we have the retrospective meeting i hope so you have joined the retrospective meeting right so can you tell me what is retrospective meeting so then have you uh-huh. understand my question right uh-huh. uh okay so what is retrospective meeting i have explained you four meeting you answer me what is retrospective meeting uh, sir in a respo- retrospective meeting the mm-hmm. my company manager and uh, my, uh, my uh, in my company as a small company not a big uh, so in that uh, com- uh, sir uh, my my uh, owner as a manager uh, they mm-hmm. they tell me about the scenario and our tester and developer will be uh, done as per uh, they have told me or uh, done as per i have uh, done what and i have decided uh, and uh, my scrum master also present and i have decided to what uh, have, uh, what was the testing okay audible okay. so can you tell me what is manual testing i'm asking sir, a basic question okay sir. so manual testing is a testing which a uh, tester uh, uh, develop uh, tester test the uh, auto uh, test the test the uh, software manually we not required uh, automation script in a, uh, ma- uh, uh, we have to execute the test cases by manually okay that's right that's right okay so uh, can you tell me about hdlc software development life cycle you have any idea about hdlc yes sir yes. Yeah. SDLC yeah, you can, you can. is mm-hmm. software mm-hmm. development life cycle. Yes. Uh, yes. Sir, in a software development life cycle, uh, firstly, a uh, business requirement gather the requirement from customer, mm-hmm. and uh, we have to analyze the requirement from uh, we have to analyze the requirement by using feasibility study, and uh, after the feasibility study, we have to go to the design. In the design, there are uh, two classification. First one, 
is a high level design and low level design okay. in high level design uh, uh, project flow is come under the high level design and project logic is come under the low level design okay. after the uh, uh, design is completed then uh, we will go for uh, testing in the testing uh, uh, after design you will go for the testing this thing i mean, sorry 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 uh, after the design we have go for the coding in right. the coding yeah. uh, co in the coding uh, developer will be writing down the code for the uh, uh, developer will be writing down the code for a requirement point of view and mm -hmm. once whole code is done then go for uh, testing in the testing okay. test the software as per requirement okay, uh, based, right. on, based on the scenario uh, once a whole uh, testing is done then uh, we will go for installation so that my customer can use the so installation so that my customer can use the software in his business so okay, any so uh, any yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, customer any problem uh, customer using the software any problem in the software so my customer can uh, 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 talk that in the maintenance so i am going to solve that in the maintenance phase this is the okay, last stage are, the, okay last stage is support one right uh, okay so okay. maintain the so, software so waterfall okay. uh, sd uh, so this is a software can use uh, waterfall model you use for the uh, no module module is somewhat different module is oh, somewhat yeah. different that is approach which we are following ah, in the, yes, uh, in the uh, what we can say in our project right so uh, you have used one word that you are installing the software right you are installing the software at the client or client send or you are just simply deployed can you just tell me what is the name of that word i think what you are installing the software but what is the name of that particular terminology can you just tell me Uh, please repeat sir question you have used one of the word you are installing the software right mm -hmm. right yes, so yes, sir. can you just tell me first see i am also giving you the hint first once developer is complete their code they have deployed into dev environment right mm -hmm. after dev it come to qa environment right you have used one word that you are installing the software at the somewhat client end can you just tell me the what is the exact meaning of installing or what is the exact terminology that you you are installing the software the, at the client side or the live what we can say can you just live in that part ah so can you just tell me the name of that environment okay sir uh, sir uh, in the uh, i have you uh, install the software in uh, for, for any software uh, we have to use uh, firstly uh, just tell me the name of that environment okay okay name of the environment Okay, I I can give you the four multiple choice question. First one is dev, second one is QA, third one is production, and fourth one is staging. Can you just tell me within these four which one is right? Dev dev environment. Uh, no, we can say that is production environment. You also has remember uh, yeah, like from your developer you have heard like yeah, अपना project release है हमारा हमारा release live होने वाला है right? So basically that is an one of the production environment what you can say right? Okay. so uh, this is also one of the important question which mainly asks in the interview right so uh, can you just tell me what is stlc software testing life cycle you have any idea yes sir yes. in a software testing life cycle uh, firstly uh, we have to give the requirement from the customers mm -hmm. and we have to uh, plan uh, test planning is done for uh, in a test planning uh, we have to test this yeah, i am audible sir Yeah, yeah, yeah yes, yes continue. you can continue yeah in the test planning future testing activities to be done by the way and okay. once uh, test planning has happened then uh, software is the uh, 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 once test planning is done then uh, we have to uh, uh, write down the test cases for that okay once uh, test cases is uh, writing then uh, we have to uh, uh, we have to not directly execute test cases we have to cross check the every, each and every test cases uh, uh, as per requirement point is matching or not right. so once uh, requirement is matching uh, we have to uh, 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 we have to cross check by okay. uh, re executing test cases and uh, once it is happen then uh, we go further to uh, once each and every test cases as matching then go to further is a uh, 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 then execute the test cases then uh, we have to uh, 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 further uh, process and uh, okay. Uh, uh, okay traceability matrix there okay
where I have to do done that. Okay, okay. So see, basically in software testing life cycle, we have the five to six blocks, right? First one we have requirement analysis, right? Mm -hmm. After that, we usually used to prepare the test plan. Test right? plan. After that, we are usually used to prepare test scenarios, mm -hmm. right? From or test scenarios, or you can say as the use cases for the same, right? Mm. After test scenarios, we usually used to write test case design, then test case execution, right? After executing the test cases, if you have some of the bugs, right? Then yes. we usually used to raise that bug. Yes. Okay. Then once that bug is raised, then it jumped into the defect life cycle, what we can say, right? Ah, yes. So can you just tell me, uh, as you have told, you have one year of experience, right? I'm right. You have one year, yes, one sir. plus year of experience. So can you just tell me what type of uh, uh, tool you are using to report a bug? Uh, I have uh, used to uh, report a bug for the uh, in Jira tool. In Jira tool, right? You have using the Jira. Can you just tell me in one year how many bugs you have raised in all, uh, like functional, non-functional, overall? Someone uh, 750 and 770, 750. 770. Approximately, you are saying, right? Okay. Oh, don't uh, remember that item. No, okay. uh, no, so, yeah. Can you, oh, can you, can you continue with this answer? Huh? Okay. So, see, when first of all, I'm not getting, I'm, I'm not telling how you have to go to Jira. Then you have to click on create button, then select hmm. the issue type as bug. See, that is a process. What okay. is my question? What type of the things you are writing? See. First of all, you are writing as an actual result, right? In in that particular issue, you are writing an actual result, right? After that, you are writing an expected result, what we can say, expected or expected result, right? After that, you are writing the steps to reproduce, means how to, means if there is some of the issue in some of the particular module, in that some of the particular sub module, what we can say, then you are writing the particular steps in that sense. Then you are attaching the test proof document, if let's suppose it is a functional bug, you are you may record the whole screen. Yeah, Baba. I'm going from A to B, B to C. Then after going to C, it has some of the problem. Then you are attaching that particular what we can say test proof document for the same. Right. These things are you are mentioning in your work. Is it right? Yes, sir. Okay, okay. So uh, can you just tell me, Akash, what is sanity testing? Uh -huh. Sanity testing, sir. Uh, in the sanity testing, testing the uh, basic feature or a critical feature in an application. Basic or the critical. So can you just tell me, sir, is sanity is the first testing or the second testing when it uh, comes to the QA environment? Uh, first testing, sir. First testing. Is it right? Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. So can you just tell me what is the main difference between sanity and the smoke? Uh, sir, uh, in the smoke and sanity testing. Uh, okay. uh, uh, whenever in a change, any changes in the requirement, uh, in a uh, any changes uh, in the happen, in a, whenever any changes in happen, then uh, we have to uh, we have to uh, go for a smoke testing, and uh, and uh, when a scripting language is required for a smoke testing. And uh, sanity testing. No, no, no. See, I can be tell you in simple word. See, basically, sanity testing. What we can say, sanity or the smoke testing. It is the first testing. First of all, right. In sanity testing, we usually used to if there is some of the things which is not okay or the build is not stable, we usually used to reject in the sanity testing itself only, right. Mm -hmm. So, what we can say, what is then smoke testing? So, smoke testing, we can say an extra sec of the sanity. What is this extra sake of sanity? What we can say, we usually used to go with the root cause means why these things has happened, right? Let's suppose if we, if you want to open a Chrome browser, right? And what is the root cause? You are trying to open a Chrome browser and it is showing no internet is displayed, but basically you have not connected your system to the internet. So what is the root cause for the same? You have not connected the internet. Are you getting my point? What I'm saying, yes, sir. right? So that is nothing but we can say as in the smoke testing okay so you can also prepare for the this question it is also one of the important right yes. what is sanity and the smoke so one uh, one question i'm going to ask you like so what is a bva and what is ecp what is a bva and what is ecp can you just tell me bva 
or I can tell you with full form boundary value analysis and what is equivalent class partition. Okay, sir. Sir, it is a uh, uh, testing a uh, te test uh, test case design technique actually. Uh, okay. Boundary value analysis. We have to design any or uh, test case uh, so test case to okay. uh, this uh, design the testing uh, for the in a boundary value analysis and uh, uh, which. Uh, Boundary value analysis is a uh, we have to. You are using the BB as a, as well as when you are designing the test cases. Is it right now? Yes, sir. Okay, so so basically, what is BBA? Can you just tell me? In in your own language, that's not an issue. I don't want any any bookish uh, answer no. or any okay. answer from the which is created by the Chat GPT or what we can say from the internet or from Quora. Just tell me what you know about the BBA. BVA is a. Uh, okay, can you try for the ECP equivalent class partition? I guess uh, that is easy one. Equivalent part uh, partitioning means uh, uh, equi uh, whenever the any uh, software is a uh, uh, develop uh, part or any uh, equivalence uh, that uh, this case. No, actually, see. What is what we can say is about the equivalent class partition. We usually use to test the any particular input with the different data types, right? Mm -hmm. That is the thing. But we can say as in the equivalent class partition. I'm just saying in basic uh, way. What is that basically in ECP? Let's suppose if you have a one text box, right? Right. You are testing mm -hmm. with the different types of data types. Means you are testing with the float type. You are testing with the integer type. You are testing with the character mm -hmm. boolean, true or false. So. What exactly we are we usually use to test it and the different data types what we can say right and what is boundary value analysis is nothing but a particular range is given to that particular input box or any field within this range only you have to test it right so that is nothing but what we can say is and the boundary value analysis for the same okay so uh, can you just tell me what is production issue uh, in the production issue for the uh we have to uh, in the production uh, issue have you faced means obvious you have are you have been part of any release first of all can you tell me hmm. means the the module which we are working that has may have gone live right hmm, yes right so basically what is production issue then you might have faced because in my career, I have faced many of the production issue for the same. So, can you just tell me what is production issue? Like? Production issue means uh, uh, whenever uh, definition or any. No, no. You can just tell me uh, what, what you, you know, know about, about the product. Yeah. yeah. Right. Uh, means in uh, actually production issue is uh, happening in a live environment, uh, particularly. Uh, okay. Yeah, uh, it is right. And uh, uh, but what exact? That term is known as the prod issue. Like. Any idea? No, you are say, see. Basically, what is prod issue? If if some of the things which not go as per our requirement, right? Means some of the things which get broke in the production environment or any unexpected bug or surprises, what we can say arise in the uh, production. That is the thing. What is called as a prod issue. And Hindi, what we can say basically in our IT language, ki kor fad gaya, right? So mm -hmm. basically, that is nothing but is called as a prod issue, right? So uh, I like to ask one real time scenario question, right? As you are, you have been tester, right? Right, and uh, you are raising the bug to the developer, is it right? So. Mm -hmm. If there is some of, if there is one of the bug, let's suppose I am the developer, you are the QA, right? If you are raising the bug to me, and I am arguing, I am, and I am not expecting that, accepting that particular bug, yeah, I am saying that no, no, this is not a bug, this is a feature. Then how you can convince me like this is a bug? Okay. Yeah. So uh, basically, you have been faced this problem many times, as you as mm -hmm. you have told, you have raised more than seven fifty plus bugs in a year, right? So mm -hmm. how you have convinced me ki no baba this is an issue see as you have raised 700 so your developer might be get what you can say shout on you like why you are raising so much of bugs basically developer and testers industry is saying they are not a friend but as per my logic 
we are the good friends and we have to be good friends and only we are going to what we can say uh, done with all the work so how you how you have convinced me yeah no this is a work or what essential steps you have been co- communicated uh, for the same uh, s- uh sir uh, you, when uh, any uh, box is uh, uh, i have to uh, uh, mark as a one uh, 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 one c- sign or any uh, sign picture to do this work no 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 have you understand mm-hmm. my question basically aapko mera question samjha what i am asking लेट सपोज मैं एक डेवलपर हूँ राइट आप एक क्यूए हो आपने एक बग रेस किया है मेरे को राइट सो अगर मैं वो मैं वो बग एस्केप नहीं कर रहा मैं बोल रहा हूँ आपको कि नहीं ये बग है ही नहीं तो आपका रिएक्शन कैसा होगा हाउ यू कैन कन्विंस मी नो नो ओम दिस इज एंड बग हाउ यू कैन कन्विंस मी दिस इज अ रियल टाइम सीनारियो क्वेश्चन मेरे को पता है आपने ये फेस किया ही होगा हंड्रेड परसेंट ऐसा कोई ही टेस्टर है ही नहीं इंडस्ट्री में कि जिसने ये फेस किया नहीं हो so how you are convin- uh, convincing me like yeah you can you can give answer ab ab mera ab mera question samjha aapko basically ha ki convince kaise ha convince kaise karoge so main matlab ki usme main aapko firstly sim isme bug ka wo ye bhejunga ki isme firstly ye hai to aap matlab is sign mein bug hai तो आप okay. बोलोगे कि मैंने ये फर्क फिक्स किया है वर्क okay. आप बोलोगे तो okay. मैं बोलूंगा ये रह गया है तो okay. मैं फिर से और फिर से मैं उसमें इसमें डालूंगा रेस करूंगा मैं फिर से ओके रेस करोगे आप सो मेरे को आप आईडी डी सिलेक्ट करोगे ओके सिर्फ इतना ही बोलोगे पर आप कन्विंस कह इससे मैं थोड़ी कन्विंस होने वाला हूँ यार ठीक है आई आया ठीक है मैं वो सिंपली नीचे कमेंट करके एट द रेट आकाश This is not a bug. कर दूंगा आपको रिटर्न जीरा में तो फिर आप क्या करोगे हाउ टू कन्वेंस टू डेवलपर इट्स अ बग इट्स नॉट अ फीचर वट यू गोइंग टू डू आर यू गोइंग टू विम लीड और टेस्ट लीड वट यू गोइंग टू वॉट इज यूर प्लान ऑफ एक्शन यस वॉट इज यूर प्लान ऑफ एक्शन टू गिव फॉर टीम लीड okay team leader okay so basically what i am saying is like say what i am following hierarchy in my organization let's suppose if any of the developer is annoying with you right means no this is not a bug this is a feature or what we can say no no you have not uh, you have not understanding the complete requirements and all so what i can do is i'll try i'll arrange one meeting for the same i'll try to convince him i'll try i'll try to like explain him all the possible things so no this is a thing and this is i am facing the issue right if still he is not accepting like yeah that is bug so what i am trying to like convince so i'll uh, put a mail or what we can say put a hierarchy in that i'll add my scrum master for the same right or this is the issue or in scrum call i'll raise the same yeah this is the issue and this is the thing so we'll have the common and healthy discussion what i'm saying right so this is the one of the question which mostly asked in the interview right so uh, akash i'll ask you one last question what is bug life cycle can you just tell me defect life cycle or bug life cycle you can say uh, in defect life cycle uh, firstly uh, any a bug is new then i have okay. to sta- uh, start the uh, uh, firstly we have to uh, <coughs> developer will be uh, give to the uh, uh, we have to uh, start as a new bug and then we have to uh, st- uh, Due to the developer, uh, then uh, tester as a tester, I have due to uh, the due to developer and can developer. Can you just will... tell me the name of the steps? What we can say? Ah, uh, start. Uh, firstly, a new bug. Then uh, okay. we have to give as a uh, assign a bug as once bus bug is assigned, mm-hmm. then assign. Then uh, once bug is fixed, then fix the bug. Once reassign, uh, not fix the bug, then I have used to reassign the bug. Okay. Then, uh, once uh, one reassign the bug, then we will further go to the developer, and developer will be again the uh, process for fixing the bug. As uh, this is the life cycle. Okay. ठीक है. See, basically in life cycle we have three main steps. First one is open stage. new stage and default stage what we can say mm-hmm. in new if developer closes that bug then it will go in the closed stage 
right mm -hmm. then it will come to the sorry uh, it will escape or not then it will throw in the defect stage what we can say if developer escape that one particular bug then it will uh, what we can say it will open means it will go in the in progress stage what we can say basically developer is working on for the same then once developer has done that particular task then it will throw in the qa environment means stage will be qa right after qa then qa usually used to test whether all the things as per the requirements or not if it is the thing as per requirement then we usually used to close the uh, thing right and if developer thinks this is an invalid bug which i have asked you in previous scenario right then it directly goes in the closed stage or the invalid stage what we can say so this is a one of the short explanation of the what we can say uh, defect life cycle or the bug life cycle okay so that's it akash i am done with you try to be very be present you right try to be your shoulders in a straight way try to be not like i think so your laptop is laying down your what we can say Uh, yes, in your bed it should be not like that it should be a straight conversation means just i am giving the some of the tips not only you the students who are seeing this particular video means basically it is going to be live after some time so this is what we can say is just uh, some tips what i can say you you have to be a straight and you have to see in your camera right okay you try to be confident okay and uh, the thing try to be keep the smile on your face so basically this is some of the basic rules what we can say okay for the same and try to be present you rest things are fine okay that's not an issue okay and another thing try to be and what we can say in your communication try to be have a good command okay see in our offices in our meetings we usually used to talk in english so try to be not take a goderation what we can say like no no i have an interview see many of the people even though i have also not prepared what questions i have to ask you have given me your introduction then only i have asked the question for the same so interviewer is also not prepared so basically he has a number of different tasks as qa did they have to do that this once he come then only he will search what we can say yeah software testing questions and some more mm. what you can say right so try to be present you So that is from mine. So Pradeep sir, can you uh, yes, any feedback? Yes, yes. Uh, I I want to add some more things. So see, simple Akash. If you don't know the answer of uh, any question, so don't take much time. Right? Just you can say, sorry sir, uh, I am not aware about it, or like that. You need to respond. Don't do not skip like that. And uh, always, uh, Om already told you try to uh, focus in your camera. and uh, before starting uh, the interview you uh, you need to uh, you can change the background like us right so uh, right we are a family so there will be a some uh, background over there here, here and there so you can change the background as well uh, you can also change the teams and everything you are uh, you can change the background right so and uh, one more thing uh, i went uh, through your resume uh resume is good but uh, i can see third page is empty uh, you have just mentioned the declaration over that so uh, just uh, try to adjust that uh, in the second page as well do not use the third page and uh, and and uh, okay then everything is okay fine but try to improve your english uh, try to for uh, improving your english you need to speak to your uh, families or colleagues people try to in english try to uh, improve your vocabulary section if you have the uh, good vocabulary you can build a good sentence right mm -hmm. one second ha sir ha akash he ha, goes to ek minute he goes to ek important hai manje ja vele tumcha interview asel tesa internet connection tumcha changla pahije ha sir ani in case second ata tumhi jar hotspot var connect asal tar don hotspot at least chalu theva माइट बी एखाद हो शकता कि तुम नेटवर्क इश्यू हो सकता तो दुसरा ऑटोमेटिक कनेक्ट पाजे इंटरव्यू वो तुम्हारा थे हाँ ओम सो सो लाइक आता ज्यास तुम्हें नेक्स्ट कंपनी स्विच करना राइट सो ज्यादा तुम्हारा आता सिक्स मंथ्स ऑफ प्रिपेरेशन तो इम्पॉर्टंट है आई डोंट थिंक सो लाइक यू आर वर्किंग इन वडोदरा बिकॉज माला एक ऑफर भेटली होती वडोदरा से बट आई हेव नॉट जॉइन ओवर देर बिकॉज लाइक खाइसे वगैरह समथिंग हाल अपन लाइक राइट सो नेक्स्ट कंपनी तुम्हें स्विच करना तो तुम्हारा प्रिपेरेशन मिनिमम विद इन फाइव टू सिक्स मंथ लगना है वॉट आई हेव वॉट आई विल सजेस्ट यू इज लाइक कि जस तुम्हें वर्किंग आह तो तुम्हारा पूर्ण कॉन्सेप्ट मना गोष्टी मना वर्क थ्रू 
म्हणजे गो थ्रू व्हायला तुम्हाला वेळ लागू शकतो राईट वॉट आय सजेस्ट इज लाईक यू कॅन जस्ट जॉईन आवर सेशन राईट सो आम्ही एक न्यू बॅच स्टार्ट करत आहोत ओके सो लाईक देन इफ यू आर इंटरेस्टेड यू कॅन जॉईन फॉर द सेम अँड आय डोंट नो लाईक तुम्ही कोणाकडे जॉईन केलात काय केलात मार्केटमध्ये आय आय डोंट नो एनिथिंग बट सी जे काही कॉन्सेप्ट असणार आणि हे कॉन्सेप्ट मी असं नाही म्हणत की हे तुम्हाला तुमच्या कंपनीमध्ये ज्यावेळेस तुमची एखादं सेमिनार असतो किंवा एखादं मिटिंग असते हे तुमचे सिनियर्स पण तुम्हाला विचारू शकतात राईट इट अस अ फ्रॉड इश्यू अँड ह्या टर्म्स कॉमन आहे आणि जर तुम्ही फ्रॉड इश्यू एखादा मी तुम्हाला विचारलं की काय तुम्ही गुगल जाणार करणार एवढा वेळ सो समोरच्याला हे गेला सो वॉट आय विल सजेस्ट इज लाईक की तुम्ही एक रिफ्रेशर सेशन जॉईन करू शकतात त्याच्यामधून तुम्ही मार्केटमधून काय शिकलात आय डोंट नो राईट बट जे मी शिकवणार आहे हे तुम्हाला नक्कीच डेफिनेटली समजू शकतात की एक्झॅक्ट टेस्टिंग कशी आहे किंवा तुमचं जे अपकमिंग तुमचा जो वर्क राहणार आहे त्यामध्ये तुम्हाला त्याची हेल्प होऊ शकते ओके सो दॅट इज वन ऑफ द पर्सनल सजेशन फ्रॉम मी रेस्ट ऑफ द थिंग यू कॅन आक्स टू प्रदीप जी लाईक दे विल एक्सप्लेन हा आकाश मराठीच बोलतो आम्ही आता ऑनलाईन बॅच येत्या वीक मध्ये स्टार्ट करतोय ऑनलाईन तुम्हाला जर ब्रशअप करायचं असेल इवन मग तुमच्या बेसिक पासून तर तुमच्या प्रोजेक्ट लेवल पर्यंत सगळ्या गोष्टी तुम्हाला प्रॉपर शिकवल्या जातील तिथं तुम्ही एनरोल करणार असेल तर माझा नंबर आहे तुमच्याकडे यू कॅन रिच मी बॅक आणि खरोखर तुम्ही थोडस ब्रशअप व्हा कारण तुम्हाला स्विच करायचंय फेब्रुवारी मार्च फायनान्शियल इयरच्या आधी एक दोन महिने हायरिंग होतात ठीक आहे त्याच्या आधी एक दीड महिन्यामध्ये प्रिपेअर होणार आहे आम्ही स्टुडंटला प्रिपेअर करू आणि की त्यांना मार्च पर्यंत जॉब मिळाला पाहिजे दॅट्स इट अवर आमचा हेच टार्गेट आहे येस सो ट्राय टू बी प्रेझेंटिव्ह आणि तुम्ही प्रिपेअर करत राहा असं नका ठेवू की लाईक इवन दो मी सुद्धा माझी कंपनी आताच रिसेंट स्विच केली बट तरी माझी लर्निंग चालूच आहे लर्निंग ची कम कधी पण अपवर्ड ठेवा रादर दॅन डाऊनवर्ड इंटरव्ह्यू आला अभ्यास केला जॉब लागला खाली आला परत अप अँड डाऊन सो त्याला काही स्टेबल ठेवा स्टॅग्नेंट ग्रोथ ठेवा वॉट वी कॅन से राईट सो दिस इज सजेशन फ्रॉम माइंड ओके सो दॅट्स इट लाईक थँक्यू